Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are deeping, uh, diving deep into what might be the most impressive GPS watch Garmin has released in years. This is the Enduro 3 and here's the kicker. It's actually cheaper than its predecessor while being significantly better. So I've been testing this beast for several weeks now, uh, definitely over a month, putting it through everything from ultra marathons to multi-day hikes in the mountains and i've got some surprising finds to share with you so with that said let's jump right into it first off um, let's start with something that literally never happens in a tech world garmin dropped the price the enduro 3 comes in at 899 which is 200 dollars less than enduro 2 uh, when it was launched at and that's a whopping whopping $300 less than the comparable Phoenix 8 solar so when's the last time you saw a company release a better product product for less money yeah exactly never never you don't see that never so um, but here's what uh, he but here's where it gets really interesting despite being cheaper the enduro 3 actually outperforms the more expensive phoenix 8 in the area that matters the most for adventure athletes and that's battery life we're talking up to 320 hours of gps tracking with solar charging or and this is a big or 90 days in smartwatch mode guys that's not a typo folks this is 90 days that you can have in that type of mode. So that's significant. Um, in terms of, you know, the bigger battery, you may be thinking, well, it's heavier, right? It's wrong. It's not really that heavy at all. The Enduro 3 weighs just 63 grams, making it 9 grams lighter than the lightest Phoenix 8. And, you know, that not, might not sound like much but when you're wearing this watch 24 7 for weeks of training every gram matters and the build quality is exactly what you expect from garments premium lineup we've got a titanium bezel scratch resistant sapphire crystal and a fiber reinforced uh polymer case right here on the back um you know that that included this included also the ultra fit nylon strap and it's actually much more comfortable than the typical silicon bands especially for long activities where sweat or chafing become a real big issue now uh the battery life uh let me uh, paint a picture for you of just how insane this battery is during my testing i took this watch on a five day back country hike tracking gps the entire time and i ended this trip with battery to spare the search results show someone getting even 100.06 of garmin's advertised battery estimates that's unheard of accuracy in manufacturer claims but the real game changer here is that the solar charging i've actually watched this watch uh, gain battery percentage while sitting in direct sunlight and even one test reported going from 92 to 94 percent battery after just one hour in the sun so for ultra endurance athletes doing multi-day events uh, this could be literally the difference between you finishing your race or dnfing due to a dead watch so Let's, let's jump into what you get versus what you don't. And that is the Enduro 3 essentially takes a software from the Phoenix 8, packages it with a proven hardware platform of the Phoenix 7X Pro, plus some key upgrades. You're getting the same Elevate Gen 5 hardware, a heart rate sensor with ESG capability, the same GPS chipset with multi-band accuracy, and a virtual identical sports tracking feature with this. And what you're giving up compared to the Phoenix 8 is pretty minimal for most users. No microphone and speaker setup, no diving features rated at 40 meters, and no AMOLED display option. But here's the thing. 
If you're buying an adventure watch primarily for outdoor sports, do you really need to take phone calls from your wrist? And the answer is going to be no, probably not. Um, and I've got to say this, I put this watch through a Derringer. The GPS accuracy is spot on during side-by-side -side testing with multiple de de devices, the Enduro 3 matched other premium GPS watches near perfectly, especially in challenging conditions above tree line. The new automatic track uh, processing feature is particularly impressive. It uses internal sensors to uh, basically clean up um, uh, GPS data automatically, making even GPS only modes surprisingly accurate. And the heart rate sensor performed well, though like all large adventure watches, it can struggle with motion artifacts during high intensity activities. So for steady state cardio, like long runs or uh, hikes, it's very, very reliable. Sleep tracking um, and recovery metrics are comprehensive, giving you everything from HRV to training readiness scores. Um, the mapping capabilities are where this watch really shines for outdoor adventures. You get uh, detailed, um, basically detailed, uh, uh, basically detailed topographic maps preloaded. Uh, you, you can be able to go right there. You can take a look into it uh, in terms of the map. Very clear, real crystal clot. Um, and... Um, you know, the, the, you can do so much of this in terms of navigation. Smart features cover the basics well. You've got music storage from uh, Spotify and other uh, services, contactless payments, and smartphone notifications. is not going to replace your phone for daily tasks, but it handles the essentials. And the solar charging really, I mean, the reality of the solar charging, charging really checks in. Let me be real about the solar charging. It works, but it's not magic. Garmin's estimates assume 50,000 lux hitting the display constantly, which requires direct sunlight on the screen. In practice, you'll see meaningful solar gains during outdoor activities, but don't expect it to charge while you're indoors or during winter activities with multiple layers covering the watch. That said, even without solar, the base battery life is so good that the solar charging is just a bonus runtime. It's insurance for those ultra long adventures where every hour of the battery matters. And, um, you know, the, the, the main question here is, well, should I buy this watch, right? And the Enduro 3 is perfect for several types of users. First off, the, first, the ultra endurance athletes who need multiple day battery life without compromise. That's number one. Second, Serious outdoor enthusiasts who want premium navigation features and bulletproof reliability. And third, anyone who wants a Phoenix 8 level features but doesn't want to pay Phoenix 8, Phoenix 8 prices, this is the one for you. And if you're coming from an older Garmin watch, the upgrade is substantial. The improved interface, uh, better heart rate sensor, enhanced solar charging, and significantly better battery life make this a very very compelling upgrade and although we, you know there's a lot of pro pros to this watch there's some downsides no watch is perfect and the enduro 3 has a couple of limitations first off this is the 51 millimeter size and this is the only option you'll get this might be a little bit too large for smaller wrist and you know the mip display while highly visible in sunlight isn't as vibrant as the amoled uh, screen and while the sapphire crystal is scratch resistant, it does make the display slightly less crisp than regular glass. Does it bother me? Not really. Uh, overall, in my opinion, I think that um, this watch is totally, hands down, the best one that Garmin weights. So the bottom line, the Garmin Enduro 3 might be the best value in premium GPS watches right now. You're getting flagship level features, industry leading battery life, and proven durability for less money than the previous generation. That almost never happens in consumer electronics. 
If battery anxiety has ever limited your adventures, if you've ever had to choose between features and runtime, or if you want a watch that can handle literally anything you throw at it, the Enduro 3 deserves serious consideration. And at $899, it's expensive, but fair for what you get. So with that said, what, ha what kind of watch have you been considering yourselves? What questions do you have about real-world performance? Drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth gear reviews. Until next time, get out there and adventure on. Thanks.